morning and welcome to the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10-2. I'm David Lovejoy. Good morning. I'm Rhonda. And I'm Chuckalicious Chuck Williams. One thing about revitalizing a neighborhood, it takes lots of different aspects uh, to get a neighborhood back to the standard they want to be at. And one of the most important things is safety of the residents of that community. The Barrio uh, Neighborhood Association is uh, getting together uh, to uh, uh, put together a bike lane, a study on bike lanes in their neighborhood. Ms. Teresa Kennedy, president of the BNPC, joins us this morning. Uh, Ms. Teresa, how are you doing today? I am well, thank you. Welcome for thank you for being Miss Teresa. A couple of weeks ago, when I called her to book this, she had just fallen. I called, caught her mm. in the emergency room. She shattered. <laughs> yes. it. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's it, it's like a duck with one wing because Miss Teresa goes a million miles an hour, and so she's <laughs> a little bit slowed down. Now. And it's her right. It's hand. a right it's hand too. Right hand. I know it. This Trooper. is how I learned to be ambidextrous. Yeah. So she, maybe she'll learn a new skill. Our bike, uh, yeah. our bike captain Chuck's got some questions for you. Go ahead, Chuck. You know, uh, just out of curiosity, it seems like the bike lane situation in Amarillo. It has come a long way from like maybe 10 years ago, but we just have that much further to go, you know, from the standpoint of bike lanes, how far and how wide from the street. You guys are putting together a meeting to really get it together. Tell me about that. So the purpose of our meeting this Thursday at 6 p.m. at the Alamo Center is to get input from our residents, from our community members, and ask them, how do they want this bike lane to look like? There's really two options. There's a 10 foot uh, bike lane that has uh, protection from, of course, traffic. And then there's two six and a half feet uh, bike lanes as well with a two foot buffer. And so it's really important. You're right, David, about the safety. We want people to safely ride their bikes. And there's a lot of bike traffic between downtown and uh, the bar, the 10th Avenue, and we're talking about 10th Avenue, uh, all the way to the fairgrounds. But where we're where we're looking at is a seven block area from Garfield to Ross Street to add that bike lane. Um, when I sat in front of Fiesta Foods for eight half days to just see how the pedestrians, how many pedestrians were walking and people riding bikes, we saw a lot of bike bike riders, young and older. Right. bike riders and so we want to be able to have a safe place for them to ride tech stop one this is loop 395 that tech dot owns and so um they are requiring that a bike lane be put in and so we just want input from our neighbors and community members about this bike lane what does it need to look like and the great deal about this is it's part of a grant so this is coming from money that has been set aside specifically to improve neighborhood safety right so the city just recently submitted on January 27th a, a new grant to include this bike lane and also additional costs to 10th Avenue itself for that uh, revitalization. So we'll know uh, on March 27th if we can proceed with that. With But we wanted to have our input gathered prior to that date. All right. To be a part of that and to get your opinion, uh, to get it in, it's taking place Thursday. February 9th from 6 until 8 p.m. It'll be located at the Amarillo Center at 1502 South Cleveland Street. If you need more information, go to bnpamarillo at gmail.com or give them a call. 806-437-6592. Speak up and have your voice heard on this matter. That would be great. The other thing that we're covering that night is the Neighborhood Empowerment mm -hmm. um, Zone, the NEZ. Mm -hmm. And this will let people know what's available for sales tax rebates for our businesses, like say they need a new roof for air conditioning or for a resident to be able to have some permits. Uh, if they're going to build a home or revitalize their home, renovate it, they can ask uh, for some permits to be to, to not have to pay for those permits. Mm, it's so a great we'll sharing both. Great way to help out your neighborhood and get your input put in. It's the Bike Lane Design Open House and Neighborhood Empowerment Zone, uh, Thursday, February 9th, 6 until 8 p.m. Refreshments will be served. The Alamo Center is located at 1502 South Cleveland, bnpamarillo at gmail.com, 
347-637-6592. Ms. Kennedy, take care of yourself, please. Thank you. I will. All Have right. Day. You too. Be careful. Bye -bye. We'll be back bright and early tomorrow morning with more chat right here on Newsday.